Hello everyone and welcome by another video of the Orchid Saga and today I'm going to give you a, a little tour of my upgraded greenhouse um, seeing the circumstances I um, did get a uh, or due to the circumstances I should say I did get a uh, yeah, new room next to my uh, greenhouse uh, available and um, yeah, I think you know all why I uh, I have that room now. And if you don't, just uh, look a few videos back. Um, it's still uh, very strange, but I uh, promised myself to focus on the positive things. So therefore, I'm going to make this a very positive video because um, there are a, uh, a lot of uh, positive things, yes, <laughs> happening. Um, so therefore, I thought um, I'm going to start with a. Um, update on my greenhouse and in this area I kept my Miltoniopsis but I uh, yeah I basically I changed quite a lot because I have now the cool growers in my uh, orchid room and in the greenhouse I have my warmer growers and it can be a bit noisy here and there because I have all the equipment running I have even the door open because below there it's I don't know if you can see it's 28 degrees Celsius I hope that shows up but um, yeah and in this this area there's a little bit more Sun we have currently 31 degrees so it's quite warm so I have uh, here um, the more warmer loving orchids more light loving orchids I think um, at least the warmth like the brassia Russia types and Miltonias, so not the Miltoniopsis, but the Miltonias, and I think they uh, they uh, gonna like it here. And I have one um, the exit two by the Bobo Films I have here. Um, my Puffio Pedalums, that one is the American Beauty, Pinocchio, and Blackjack. And here I have a Miltonia Ragnellii. I will do a video on uh, my big ones, big artists, uh, pretty soon because I have uh, quite a few, as you already may have noticed. But um, yeah, like I said, I have the door open. It's very nice weather. We do have uh, some shade from the uh, apple trees outside. We have two apple trees. Um, but still it's warm but these orchids normally um, if I'm correct most of them they like the heat or the warmth not not too warm of course but I keep it uh, as humid as I can and I spray them if it's really um, getting warm and dry in here I uh, keep my uh, I get my sprayer and I spray all of them and they really seem to enjoy it if I can see it because for example, these guys are blooming and they are blooming longer than normal than, than I uh, previously and they have more blooms. This one uh, decided to make two spikes and normally I, when they started to grow a new cane they didn't uh, start to rebloom again but this one does and also this one with two spikes coming out and it already bloomed from this uh, for the apex but it decided to put out another spike from there and also it's working on two new growths so yeah I think they uh, they like it and especially this one is very thick this was the previous new growth that I did grow in my greenhouse and it was a bit bigger but a bit smaller than the one uh, that was grown on in the uh, nursery but then um, this year I have an even bigger spy, uh, cane I'm sorry and it's quite thick a really a really beautiful very strong cane so I'm very curious what this one will do blooming wise as, as well but yeah I really love my uh, dendromium family abscesses this one's working on another spike it already has two my Polar fire, beautiful blooms. So yeah, I think uh, they do well. Berry Oda sitting there, it's making a lot of cakeies. And I think I'm going to take them off, the cakeies. I'm not completely sure, but I think it's 
will be getting quite an unruly plant if I let them on have cakeies and then another cake and another cake I, I don't know if I really want that so I think I'm gonna leave them my fowls still hanging this is the best place I think I uh, can uh, give my fowls and I really enjoy the, the look of it this wall of fowls but I must admit there's one little no not a little a strange strange plant there this is obviously not a uh, uh, family opsis but a dendrobium type and maybe you know why I had hang it here in that corner because it's huge it's a Chris Christiatum I think orange type and this is the cane before I I uh, yeah I, I cut them together no not cut them um, put them together I'm, I'm sorry I cannot remember the exact word for it but I, I did uh, put them together because this spike was already uh, very long this one is a think a little bit smaller than that one but it's still growing and it really is I'm going to move a little bit backwards but as you can see it's a very very big plant it's beautiful but it's so difficult to find a right place for it but now I think I have um, found it, its place because what I will happen now is that a new growth um, it's in there and let me zoom in you can see I think about let me, there in the middle of the screen is a new growth that one will now face the same direction as that uh, this growth and that is what I wanted because otherwise you can imagine if these long canes go all over the place I have no room even with another new orchid uh, room and a greenhouse this one is taking up so much space but I think it uh, can stay there then we have the summer bloomers and what I noticed is that the Leodoro the blooms are getting more yellow I think because of the light personally I like it but it's uh, lighter color wise and we have my epidendrums and yes there is another big change I have a lot of orchids here but they moved all to this area, my Cattleyas, and in the back I had my Brassavolas that were also in that uh, uh, Brassias, I'm sorry. But I now moved my uh, Cattleya types, swarm growing ones, on to this side, so I can have a, a Venda wall as well. That was something I never thought I could get in here, but now uh, because I have more room, I could make that. And I really have, I, I really like them hanging. I had them in glass vases because it was easier to water them. But now I'm just spraying them. I can spray them in the morning, in the midnight, of oh, in the midnight, in the in the afternoon, in the evening, if it really is dry. But I really like just spraying them, grabbing my electric sprayer, and just soak them just like they would outside in the rain. And I think they're going to like it. The big plus as well as those big roots that I also like have now just room to grow I cannot break them anymore or I have, don't have to put them in a difficult growing area I would like to keep them in, in the faces of course otherwise I couldn't water them but now uh, that's why they get these really, really strange shapes to it now I can let them grow downwards and hopefully get those big beautiful roots that Vendas can have. I have a few, these are my newest ones that needed to, uh, need to be repotted. Those two are um, from the second hand store. Those will be uh, giveaways for whoever wants to have them. But I did repot them, they were in a very bad um, shape. And I like to, uh, to get them growing again. It's something, big. but I, I think they, uh, yeah, they. Um, to start to pick up nutrients and water again but they were badly dehydrated I put this these guys in uh, back to into bark because most, most people here uh, my friends and family do grow them in bark not in uh, self watering like I do so therefore I uh, because I'm going to give them away I uh, kept them in, uh, in bark again I'll put them in bark again and look at this I have again three blooms open on my psychopsis so beautiful 
and I have three also open on my Alba again. Second time that it did happen. So that's uh, kind of nice, I think. Yeah, beautiful blooms. I hope my vendors like this wall. So, okay. This was the greenhouse like I had it already. I just did rearrange it. And now we're gonna have a look inside of my new orchid room. And my camera needs to adjust to the light, I think. Yeah, there we go. So first of all, that is the back wall. I have the new uh, lamps, but I need a few more shelves. And then I could put the lamps in so I have more light over there. I think it's oh, kind of okay, but it's a little bit too dark for my liking. Here is it's a little bit, so that's why I have a, a big box here and it's uh, messy because I'm uh, working on it. But I thought I'd just start to film. I have my uh, rain water, no, not uh, my rain water, my all oil water um, in this one. Rain borrow, I think. I'm sorry. <laughs> How do we call it? But um, it's really handy. I can put my uh, my can my container on it underneath it and just turn it on and I can water get my water and then um, put my feet in and water my orchids this keeps about 240 liters and I fill it with um, through this this guy I connect this one to my um, tap uh, water um, back in the back can you see it yes that one this one is from the OR Unit. I will uh, see, uh, let you see it in a minute. But I co connect it and then let it uh, yeah, fill up this uh, big rain barrel thing. <laughs> okay, so um, this is my recording table. <clears throat> and I have an extra light here, as you can see. I just installed it. It needs to be connected to the electricity, but uh, yeah, I did I, this would be enough for me, but I think for filming I could use that little bit of extra light and especially in uh, when the days get shorter and I want to do a repot because I have some time left in the evening, I, uh, it's handy, but uh, mostly for filming because I think I can make uh, better f uh, videos repotting wise uh, if I uh, have better light. And yes, this room did have a little kitchen in it so it's beautiful because i just now have an orchid room with a a kitchen in it can you imagine it i never thought this uh, would happen but i uh, yeah like i said i'm going to focus on the positive things i'm really happy with it this is the uh And seriously, you guys, I just had to look it up. For the life of me, I couldn't remember the name of it. And how hard can it be? We have tap water coming out of a tap. So I have this tap connected to my RO system. And this is just a regular tap with tap water. So, okay, we are back and um, let's continue the video. Connected to the RO units, and that is underneath here. This is the RO unit that I have, and I'm really happy with it. We did change all the filters in it, and that was about time. It did uh, do well still, but I thought, yeah, well, we have now everything, we are moving everything, so let's uh, put new filters in. So that is what we did. And I have my orchid pots here, I have my feeding stuff here on this shelf and other things that I quite often use but not as much are, are on the upper shelf and some other things little stuff things are in this little cabinet things that I uh, use sometimes and whoops I'm sorry <laughs> I'm sorry for the mess I'm still working on it but uh, yeah, I thought I'd give you a little update what's happening here. Here are my bigger flower pots, plant, planters, how do you call them? <laughs> and what's in here? Not, not much. I have still some room for some stuff. And I have a little drawer here with all stuff that I use with repotting and up-putting them, wires, cutters, 
basically everything. Whoops, you go in there. This is my uh, notebook. I have a video on it. If you are very um, curious why I have my targets all listed like this, I will do uh, some updates on uh, my list and why I use them. I'm so happy that I uh, found this way of growing. It suits me personally very much. But uh, I will come uh, back to that uh, later. It's not a video. I just, uh, like I said, wanted to give you an update. And we have some light, even some sunlight. So I didn't use the lights now, but I was, like I said, I was testing them. Hence the mess. <laughs> but, um, and there are my Miltoniopsis and other cool growers. So, oh, don't, so Glossom types. I even have my Zygos in here. I'm not completely sure if the Zygos listed are cooler growers, but I think they like light and not, they are intermediate, I think. So I should look that up, but I think they like the light. They don't need very much, too much heat, I should say. So therefore I keep them here. And this one just started to bloom. That was already there before I put it here. So it's not a measurement for <laughs> that it's very happy, but uh, yeah, it's, it's in bloom again. My Bellaras, same story. They generally like it a little bit warmer than the cooler growers and a bit a little bit lighter. So if I have them uh, next to this window. Uh, yeah, so I try to give everything the most perfect spot that I can give them. And my Miltonias, they growing on the shop lights the, uh, that I always do. Yeah, I think you call them shop, shop lights, LED lights, cool white. Those are um, the cheaper, cheapest version of daylight. They are very, uh, very close in my opinion, but you don't have the, the right amount of different lights like blue. Yeah, you obviously have blue, but the red and the green, that's not all in there. But I will, I, they get daylight, especially in the evening. So that's beautiful for my Miltoniopsis. Once again, they don't like strong light. In the evening, the sun is uh, around there and it will give some daylight on these guys as well. So I think it's kind of perfect for them. I think I'm just starting to grow them here. Oh yeah, and this one is also so beautiful. One of my favorites. This is the Odonto Glossum Iris Mist. So it's not the Oncidium Iris Mist. That one, luckily, I have as well. I didn't, never had it in bloom, but I did manage to find this. It. It's kind of hard to find here in Europe. If I'm correct, at least I had all the time. <laughs> I don't know if that meant anything, but um, yeah, I think they're kind of hard to find. Yes, here is beautiful. Oops, there you go. But yeah, that give me a uh, complete shot, it's a complete that I can give you. But I have room again. It's that is beautiful. I can uh, put even orchids underneath. There. I had some lights. I thought, well, while I'm at it. Just bring some light in there as well, because, um, yeah, you never know. <laughs> there are always some new orchids coming in. Uh, I cannot always help myself. So therefore I have some uh, room left. And I even have a uh, airco here. So it really gets very warm. This one was already there installed. My parents had it installed. Um, but yeah, I can use it. I try to avoid it as much as I can because the, the cost cost uh, the price that I need to pay for the electricity bill, I should say. But um, yeah, if it gets really too hot in here, let's say over 30 degrees, I will uh, turn it on. So I keep it, try to keep it below the 30 uh, degrees Celsius. Um, in my opinion, that is enough, though they don't like it, but, I, but they can handle it because I'm growing them in self-watering. They have quite a lot of uh, access to water, so they can drink a bit more, a bit easier because they, the roots are uh, adapted to this system and thereby they can take a little bit more heat because they don't, well, they, they lose the water through the leaves still, that, that doesn't change, but they can easily, a bit more quicker, get a new uh, water in. So that's my uh, opinion, my experience so far. I'm not really experienced with it, but I, uh, yeah, well, we, we will see if you follow this channel. I keep this uh, updated and see if I'm correct. And a mistake that I did make is spraying these blooms just with water or, 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 blub, <laughs> or, or water. 
but I didn't like it, sadly. My mistake, I'm sorry. Yeah. I think they are going over a little bit quicker thereby, but yeah, it happens. But uh, we have some uh, to come, so yeah. Oh, let me go this side, because now you can see the door to... Uh, this door will uh, lead me to the greenhouse, and here I will go back into the house. So I can come through that door. I don't know if you noticed that, but I have another door, so you can walk around. I can uh, walk around if I want. Let me show it. We have another door there. I think you noticed it already. That's the new one. That's the first one that I used. So, uh, yeah. And uh, this side, I'm back in the greenhouse, as you can hear, I think. Uh, it's a little bit more echo in, uh, inside. But, uh, yeah. Here I have my warmer growers. And I think it's nice, because I now have... I try to make a climate suiting to the orchid, as you already have may notice. So the vendors, they those get the, the most light, most heat as well. I keep them hydrated. This is my new fucker, by the way. I think it's doing its job, as you can see. It's really giving a nice mist. It's not that it can keep up with the, the amount of sunlight, but it helps. It really, really helps. Uh, and the sunlight, I mean, uh, it, it creates dry air. I hope uh, that put, was obvious enough. But uh, yeah, and my cattleyas are growing here. They get, uh, and my uh, caracidiae, if I pronounce it correctly, they are growing here and getting uh, also quite a lot of light. I don't see any purple on my leaves. So really keep an eye on that because I was afraid that uh, it might be even too warm for them, but so far. They, uh, they're doing fine. This one is a little bit purple here, but that is um, because this one has some purple in the, in the, in the blooms in the, in, in, as well. Most of the time you see it a little bit back on the uh, new growths and the leaves, but I keep an eye on that. I think it's okay. This one has a little bit of a touch of purple. And if I'm correct with Cattleyas, if you want to bloom them correctly and get a little bit more blooms, they need it. And they, they sometimes even need to be a bit pale. This is an older leaf, but to get them to uh, bloom very well. I'm not that experienced yet with Cattleyas, so I hope you, um, you find it a nice journey uh, to follow, because uh, like I said, um, over the last six months, I, I did buy most of my Cattleyas, so they are very young in my collection, and uh, yeah, but I like them, but I never had a suitable place in, in, house, in the house, so therefore I uh, never, I only had three, I, I, if I remember correctly, remember correctly, I'm sorry, <laughs> um, so yeah, I hope you liked it. I uh, really enjoy my cattleyas as well. I really like the roots of cattleyas and how they grow. I don't know. If they like it, they just start growing and they can become quite strong, beautiful plants. Okay, um, yeah, I can go on and on and on, but I will, uh, will uh, uh, make another video soon. And I thought it would be nice, like I uh, did mention a little bit earlier in this video, to talk about my uh, bigger plants. I have a few of them who are growing in kind of insanely, if you ask me. <laughs> and I'm, uh, don't get me wrong, I like it, but I, it, I will get in some trouble. So let's uh, talk about that in another video. Um, so for now, this is the update. And uh, thank you all. I did receive some beautiful comments. I, I did receive some beautiful questions. And also, um, I'm a little bit referring to uh, losing my parents. Um, I did receive some beautiful comments. Thank you so much. It's a really beautiful distraction, my plans, and uh, growing them and talking about them with you guys. It really helps me. It makes me smile again. It makes me uh, do stuff in a day again. And like I said, I don't want to make this a, a negative, or no, not negative, and a too emotional channel. It's just uh, uh, that things are happening in life, and we have to deal with it. And I can say this is one of the most things that impacted my whole life and um, that's uh, to be expected 
so therefore I will uh, talk about it uh, once in a while but I uh, will focus uh, on my artists as well but I just wanted to say thank you guys it means so much thank you for that okay um, this is the update for now and uh, thank you for watching and thank you for the new subscribers as well and I hope to see all of you on a next video bye bye